Hi friends, once again, I'm Pradeep. I'm here with the part two of indirect function series. If you remember, last time we discussed that I want to create a dynamic dependent list that is validation list. Just to let you know that this list is created by using data validation. Now here I have the list of all the states and the respective cities for all the states. In the column states, if I select any column, let us take an example, I select Illinois. Then the second city list should display the respective cities of Illinois. So I select the city. Similarly, if I select another state, if I change that state to any other state, then the respective city column should also display the cities of California. I've selected the state California, so it should only display the cities of California. It should not display the previous list, which is for Illinois. Now, how to do this? In order to learn this, we have to come to this sheet. Here, I have the complete list of all the names. And this is the list of all cities. Now, I create a name range. Here, the first step is to create the name range. So these are all states. So I come here, I first select the range. I give the name as states. Enter. Now, here, I again give the name to each state. That means this row should be named as AZ, that is Arizona. This row should be named as California. So I cannot go ahead and select each one of them and give the name. Although I can do it, but it is going to take more time. So in order to save time, what I'll do is I'll press Control A. That selects the entire data. Now I have a shortcut Control Shift F3. When I press Control Shift F3, it takes me to the screen which says create name from selection. Otherwise, what I can do is I can even go to formulas tab and I can select create names from selection. Make sure that you have already selected the data range. And when you go to create name from selection, it asks you whether your names reside in first column or top row. All my names reside in left column. So I keep left column checked and I uncheck the top row and I click OK. Now, to your surprise, you will see that this, this row has been named as CA. This entire row has been named as CO. That means it has already picked the names from this, this column. Now, our job is very simple. In order to create a data validation, I select the range and I go to data. I select validation and here I select list. When I go to data validation and list, here I type the name equal to the name of this column is states. And I hit OK. Now see, I've got the name of all the states. Right? Similarly, here, in order to get the names of the respective city, I can do a simple thing. Let's see. Equal to data validation list. And I select the list as this list. I change the dollar sign so that it can be used for the different rows. And I click OK. Now, I'm very much happy to get the list, but see it here. It doesn't give me the list of California. It just displays CA. Is it doing the same thing for the next cell? Let's find out. Oh, what happened? You need to understand that you have given the reference to a cell. And as per previous example, Excel does not understand that the CA means the range CA. In order to convert the CA into its valid reference, we have to use indirect function. So see how simple function changes this example. I select the entire range. I go to data validation. And this time I change the formula to indirect opening bracket, select the cell, close the bracket. But there's one simple mistake in this formula that is this dollar sign before 10. As you know that in Excel, Having the dollar sign means freezing the cell. I do not want to freeze row, but I do want to freeze column. I mean, even if I do not freeze column, no problem. But what I'll do is I'll uh, remove this dollar sign before 10. Either I can remove it manually or I can press F4 repeatedly to remove the dollar sign before 10. Now the dollar sign before 10 is removed. I click OK. And now see here. I've got the list dynamic list depending on the previous example. Now see, I select the state as NA, which is Nevada. And here, the problem is I ha also have the blank cells. That means blank entries. I do not need anything in that. So how can I remove these blank cells? 
just a simple technique I select that cell control minus and I will select shift cells left okay now see this cells shifts now if I could delete all these values like this control minus and shift cells left okay now see for Iowa I select Iowa state IA now see I've got only one blank cell because here I didn't remove this cell that's everything is removed so what I need to do is I need to delete all the blank cells not by hitting delete but removing the blank cell but see I do have a lot many blank cells here I cannot select each row and keep deleting the value instead what I'll do is I'll press control a that selects the entire range now I have an inbuilt utility to find out the blank cells in Excel see here what do I do Control G. Control G is a cell which takes me to a window which says go to. I go to special and here what do I need to select blanks. Select blank and I hit OK. Now see all the blank cells have got selected. What do I need to do is just press Control minus. It sells shift cells up. If I do that all these cells will get messed up. So better I do shift cells left and I click OK. Now see all the cells have been removed and see simple technique simple solution but people <clears throat> you will notice and you will definitely have one confusion that this is a city of Iowa I can select another city of Iowa but if I change this city to Illinois this does not change how to deal with that how to remove it or how to highlight or let the person know that this is an incorrect value you can expect the solution in the next video and the video which is related to conditional formatting. This can be done using conditional formatting but it's not a simple formatting. You need a logic and a formula to do the same. So we'll see in the next video. So people do watch the part number three of this video to create dynamic chart. Thank you very much.